Hi everyone, in this video we are going to see how to find the distance of the orthocenter from the three vertices and the three sides. Let's suppose we have a triangle, triangle ABC as you can see in the diagram where the side length AB is denoted by lowercase c units, side length BC is denoted by lowercase a units and side length AC is denoted by lowercase b units. And also the angle BAC which is the angle near the vertex A is denoted by uppercase A radian, angle ABC is denoted by uppercase B radian and angle ACB is denoted by uppercase C radian. We know that orthocenter is the point of intersection of the three altitudes drawn from the three vertices. So I am going to draw the altitudes one by one. So let's first draw the first altitude that is from A onto the side BC and let's assume that it is AD. So AD is perpendicular to BC, it is drawn from the vertex A and since AD is perpendicular to BC, if you look at the triangle ABD that is a right triangle where angle ADB is 90 degree of course and angle ABD is the angle B uppercase B. So what will be angle BAD? Well then angle BAD will be 90 degree minus B and similarly if you look at the triangle ADC that is also a right triangle where angle ADC is 90 degree, angle ACD is equal to uppercase C and then what would be the angle DAC? Well that will be 90 degree minus C or pi over 2 minus C. Also let's look at the side BD. BD will be equal to C times cosine of B. That's the projection of side AB onto BC. So that will be C times cosine of B and similarly DC will be equal to B times cosine of C. That will be the projection of AC onto BC. So the construction of the first altitude is complete. Now let's draw the second altitude. I have drawn the second altitude from the vertex B onto the opposite side AC and let's assume that the altitude is BE. So BE is perpendicular to AC. Now let's look at the triangle ABE that is a right triangle and the angle ABE will be equal to 90 degree minus A and similarly angle EBC that will be 90 degree minus C because triangle EBC is also a right triangle where the sum of angle EBC and angle ECB they are 90 degree. We know that angle ECB is actually uppercase C so then angle EBC will be equal to 90 degree minus C and similarly if you look at the length AE that will be the projection of AB onto AC and that will be C times cosine of A because the side length AB is denoted by lowercase c. So AE will be C times cosine of A and similarly EC will be A times cosine of C that will be the projection of the side BC onto AC and the side length BC is actually lowercase a. So that projection which is equal to EC that will be equal to A times cosine of C. Next I am going to draw the third altitude. And let's assume that the third altitude is CF which is perpendicular to AB and here if we look at the triangle AFC that is a right triangle and in that right triangle what will be the measure of the angle ACF? Well that will be 90 degree minus A because in that right triangle angle A is one of the angles and this is the other angle so that will be 90 degree minus A because it's a right triangle and similarly if we look at the angle FCB there again what will be the measure of the angle FCB? Well that will be 90 degree minus B because triangle FCB is also a right triangle where angle CFB is the 90 degree angle so angle FCB will be 90 degree minus B and similarly what is the projection of AC onto AB that will be B times cosine of A which is AF that distance would be B times cosine of A and similarly the distance FB will be the projection of BC onto AB and that will be A times cosine of B. Orthocenter is usually denoted by uppercase H so I have denoted the point of intersection of the three altitudes and I have denoted that as uppercase H. Now if you look at the triangle HBD in triangle HBD the angle BHD or DHB that angle would be equal to C because angle HBD is 90 degree minus C and it is a right triangle so angle BHD will be equal to uppercase C and similarly if we look at the triangle HDC that is also a right triangle angle DCH is actually 90 degree minus B so then angle DHC will be equal to uppercase B and also let's look at the right triangle HF B in the right triangle angle FHB will be equal to uppercase A because the angle FBH is equal to 90 degree minus A. So then definitely angle FHB or angle BHF that will be uppercase A. 
and our construction is complete now now let's get into the derivation so first thing we are going to do is we are going to try to find the distance of the orthocenter h from the vertex a and also distance of orthocenter h from the side a b so essentially we are going to find the value of a h and f h now let's focus on the triangle a f h that is a right triangle and in that triangle angle f a h is equal to 90 degree minus b so let's take a cosine of that angle so cosine ratio of angle h a f will be equal to a f over a h and can we write the angle h a f as pi over 2 minus b that's 90 degree minus b so cosine of pi over 2 minus b is equal to a f what is a f well a f is actually b times cosine of a so i have used that right here in place of a f i have written b times cosine of a and divided by a h and from here what would be a h then well a h will be equal to b times cosine of a over cosine of pi over 2 minus b and what is cosine of pi over 2 minus b well that is actually sin of b that's the complementary ratio that will be sin of b so that's what i have written in the denominator so now a h is looking like b times cosine of a over sin of b now can we write it as b over sin of b times cosine of a now why am i doing it i'm going to use the sine law for the original triangle and we know that the sine law for the original triangle is like this let me write it up there the sine law says that a over over sin a is equal to b over sin b is equal to c over sin c is equal to 2 times r r is the circum radius it's the radius of the circum circle for the original triangle so from here you can see that b over sin b can be written as 2 times r and that's exactly what i'm going to do now i'm now writing 2 r in place of b over sin b and times cosine of a so this is actually the length of a h so then we can say that a h is equal to 2 times r times cosine of a and that was one of the length we needed to find out that is the distance of the orthocenter from the vertex a so a h is the distance of the orthocenter from the vertex a now let's calculate the length of f h i have noted the length of a h on the left hand side and now we are going to do the calculation for the length of f h now we are going to again focus on the same right triangle which is triangle a f h and in that triangle what would be the sine ratio of angle f a h well that will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse opposite is actually f h and hypotenuse is actually a h so from here can we write it as sine of what is the angle f a h well that is actually pi over 2 minus b and this is equal to f h over a h and from here we can say that f h is equal to a h times sine of pi over 2 minus b now what is sine of pi over 2 minus b well that will be the complementary ratio that will be cosine of b so we can write it as a h times cosine of b now what is a h well we have just calculated the value of a h and that is actually 2 times r times cosine of a so i am writing as 2 times r times cosine of a that is for a h and then times cosine of b and this is actually the length of f h so let me write it down on the left hand side so so far we have been able to find the distance of the orthocenter from vertex a which is a h and the distance of this orthocenter from the side a b which is f h next we are going to find the value of b h and d h b h will be the distance of the orthocenter from the vertex b and d h will be the distance of the orthocenter from the side b c and for that we are going to use the triangle b d h the right triangle b d h now what would be the cosine ratio of the angle dbh or hbd that will be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and what is adjacent well adjacent is actually bd over what is hypotenuse that is bh and what is bd well bd is actually c times cosine of b over bh and here we are trying to calculate the value of bh so from here we can say then bh is equal to c times cosine of b over cosine of angle hbd what is angle hbd that is pi over 2 minus c and can we write it as c times cosine of b in the numerator over what is cosine of pi over 2 minus c what is cosine of 90 degree minus c that will be sine of c that will be the complementary ratio sine 
sin of c and can we write it as c over sin of c times cosine of b and what is c over sin of c from the sine law we know that a over sin of a is equal to b over sin of b is equal to c over sin of c is equal to 2 times the circumradius so here in place of c over sin of c i am going to say this is equal to 2 times the circumradius so the upper case r is actually the circumradius of the original triangle abc so c over sin of c can be written as 2 times r times cosine of b and this is actually the length of bh let me make a note of that on the left hand side using the same triangle we are now going to find the length of dh to find the length of dh i am going to take a sine ratio of the same angle so let me erase this so sine of angle hbd that will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse which is dh over bh and from here can we then say that dh is equal to bh times sine of what is the angle hbd well that is actually 90 degree minus c or pi over 2 minus c and this can be written as bh times what is sine of 90 degree minus c that will be the common complementary ratio and it will be cosine of c and what is bh by the way well we have just calculated the value of bh and that is 2 times r times cosine of b so in place of bh i am going to write 2 times r times cosine of b and then times cosine of c and we have found the value of dh so this is actually the value of dh and let me make a note of that on the left hand side using similar technique we can calculate the value of ch and eh for that we have to use the right triangle ehc from the right triangle ehc what would be the cosine of the angle ech well that will be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse now what is the adjacent side that is actually ec over ch now what is the value of ec well ec is actually equal to a times cosine of c over over CH and here we are trying to calculate the length of CH so from here we can say that CH is equal to A times cosine of C over cosine of angle ECH now that will be cosine of angle pi over 2 minus A and this can be written as A times cosine of C in the numerator and in the denominator what will be the value of cosine of 90 degree minus A that will be sine of A and now can we write it as A over sine of A times cosine of C and what is A over sine of A well, we can write 2 times r which is the circumradius of the original triangle abc so 2 times r times cosine of c and this is the value of ch or this is the length of ch and let me make a note of that on the left hand side and using the same triangle we are going to find the length of eh so let's quickly do that to calculate the length of eh i'm going to take a sine ratio so sine of angle ech that will be equal to opposite over hypotenuse that is eh over ch and from here can we say that eh would be equal to ch times sine of what is that angle that is pi over 2 minus a now what is the value of ch we have just calculated that is 2 times r times cosine of c and what is sine of 90 degree minus a that will be cosine of a the complementary ratio so we have found the value of eh so this is actually eh and that is equal to 2 times r times cosine of c times cosine of a let me make a note of that on the left hand side so from this construction we have been able to find the distance of the orthocenter from each of the vertices and also from each of the sides and all these formulae will be pretty handy when we go for the solution of triangle when we'll be doing the exercise we are going to use all these formulas so make a note of all of this i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video